Hello friends, my name is Palash Chandradas. Today, the topic of discussion is Terminally Sterilized Products, Manufacturing and Controls. Before going towards my main presentations, I would like to request you all to subscribe my channel P R E S Press Pharmaceutical Resorts and Education Services and press the bell icon to get notification of my all upcoming videos. This slide demonstrate uh, the most simple steps of manufacturing starting from uh, dispensing where uh, you will allow to dispense all the raw material excipients solvents if required so once the material preparation is ready you will have uh, mixing and formulation step where you will mix uh, all those dispense material uh, with solvents and will make up the volume as per the batch and your formulation is ready then you will have a filtration process uh, it will be uh, bio burden reduction filtrations and later on it will move to the filling stations uh, now based on the containers and packaging configurations it may be vials it may be in ampules uh, it may be the flexible bags or rigid containers so those will be filled in appropriate filling station and later on uh, it will be gone for sterilizations that's how we are calling at terminal sterilizations uh, we took sterilization process uh, and end up the manufacturing so here we are able to understand uh, what are the fundamental major steps are here uh, to manufacture uh, terminal moist sterilization product let's move uh, ahead to see uh, the controls which is lies in every stages so starting with the manufacturing controls preparation of the component and material should to be performed at least grade d environment which is required uh, in order to you know limit your microbial control pyrogens or non viable particle at contaminations so that a product can be sterilized in suitable sterilization method perhaps there is a uh, choice that if you feel your product is in risks that because you know your product well so if it is very susceptible towards the microbial growth uh, you, you have a less control you have open vessels where you are manufacturing or uh, the the product must held for a longer period uh, before filling or sterilization so based on different risk based scenario uh, you can upgrade your environment to safeguard your product right so the minimum recommendation is d uh, you can select c as well based on your requirement and uh, so it will reduce or it will control your p sterilize uh, bio burden in your product the preparation like winement cream suspension and emulsion uh, should to be carried out in grade c environment before terminal sterilizations so this requirement i i i borrow from u and xr1 going uh, towards more uh, in manufacturing control primary packing containers and components should to be clean uh, using validated process to ensure that the particulate pyrogen and barbarian contaminations uh, in uh, is appropriately controlled so friends the requirement is uh, so whatever the component is going to uh, you know mix with your solution or be will be in touch with your solution that is the primary packaging containers and component so how well you will take care of that part how well you will control the bar burden so it will reduce the load in your final uh, final processing or after manufacturing in your pre-sterilized bar burden 
filling of product for contamination should be carried out at least in grade C environment. So that, that is the recommendation. It should be done at least in grade C environment. Where the product uh, is at unusual risk of contaminations uh, from environment because, uh, for example, the filling uh, operation is slow, the container were white next or are necessarily exposed more than a few seconds before closing, then uh, the product should be filled in grade A zone with at least grade C background and this is the most appropriate um, I can say the controls or environment uh, today industry are following as per my experience I have seen most of them they are filling under grade A zone with the at least of grade C background processing of bulk solution uh, bulk solution should to be include a filtration step uh, with a microorganism retaining filter where uh, possible to reduce the bar burden level and particulate uh, contaminations. Here uh, I am talking about specifically non viable period to filling into the final product container and there should to be maximum permissible time between uh, preparations and filling. So. This is also important because uh, it, it can have microbial growth pattern. You can see if you extended your solution for a longer durations before filling or you have filled the solutions uh, till sterilizations if you hold. Uh, that study need to be demonstrated and someone need to validate and, and have the data for your whole time as well. We understand for for overkill approach you should not bother for that uh, but for product specific approach you must have those data handy it will be helpful for you but even for overkill approach as well uh, it's good to have the data with you and you will be understand the pattern of you know growth or microbial growth uh, in your solutions um, but based on the time and the whole time should to be specified uh, in your batch record and, uh, and that should to be maintained. So uh, this is the summary of all the grades what we discussed. Grade A zone we talk about filling a product when unusually rigs but I will recommend you should fill in grade zone with the background grade C. Grade C preparation of the solution. Uh, when unusually at risks uh, and filling of products can be done in grade C as well. Grade D preparation of the solution and components and subsequent filling that is allow uh, you can go with grade D but of course you can choose grade C for better control. So that's how it has been demonstrated here. So friends uh, th that is all about um, the controls I am here. If you have any specific questions please comment uh, in the comment sections of the video and send me the questions if you like this video please like uh, press the like button in the youtube and if you have any kind of comments suggestions or discussion please 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 feel free to uh, share your comment on the comment box uh, of the youtube sections thank you very much uh, see you again with my next video take care